A U of A researcher is calling it a fluke of a fire, and it's destroying vegetation that may never grow back naturally again. And on your side's Rogelio Mares joins us live from Oro Valley to explain. Rogelio. So, Valerie, on the mountains, you have a high, a mid, and lower level elevations. Now, the type of trees and vegetation that grow on each of those can vary. U of A researcher told me today the saguaros that burned in the desert elevation of that of that of of, of the mountains. That's the lower elevation, about 3,500 and beneath, may never grow back again. In the Catalinas, you have mostly coniferous, so pine forest at higher elevations. In the mid elevation, you see woodlands, lots of oak and grasslands. And then the low elevation, you come down into the desert. That, Dr. Laura Marshall says, is what is fueling the Bighorn Fire. Marshall is an expert on mountain forests at the U of A's School of Natural Resources and the Environment. A lot of that area has not burned at all in the past 50 or more years. Because of that, she says this fire had plenty of vegetation to burn. You could expect uh, an, an oak woodland to burn maybe every five or ten years. She says most of the vegetation has adapted to fire and can grow back quickly in the mid and higher elevations. At the lower elevations it is unnatural where you see the saguaros growing and uh, grasses around them. That's the invasive buffalo grass uh, moving in the lower Sonoran Desert. That's very bad and very unnatural. Marshall provided this photo as an example of what that invasive grass looks like growing in a desert. This, she said, could be causing the fire to spread to the lower desert system. Those systems are not adapted to fire. They would burn maybe for every 400 years, you might see a fire in the Sonoran Desert. This satellite photo taken on May 29th from the U.S. Geological Survey provided by Marshall shows vegetation in red and bare land in black. This latest photo taken on Sunday shows much more bare land, vegetation lost to the fire. Very jarring image indeed. Dr. Marshall says researchers will continue to examine satellite photos like the one you just saw and uh, the terrain around the fire once it is contained. That, she says, will give them a better understanding of what actually was lost in the Bighorn Fire. For now, reporting live, Rogelio Matis, K Gun 9 on your side. Uh, good info.